Hello. Good morning, students. So in the previous sessions, we were discussing about how a PN junction diode works, how it can be forward biased, or how it can be reverse biased, and what are the various characteristics or how it behaves when it is forward biased and reverse biased. Okay. So with this basic understanding, now we are going to understand more about the breakdown or the reverse breakdown of a junction diode. When you study the reverse characteristics or when you study the reverse biasing of a PN junction diode, you understood that how when you increase the reverse voltage at the PN junction, at the PN junction, how the reverse voltage increases. So now we are going to discuss more in detail about how this breakdown or how the reverse characteristics uh, are, is working out or how the breakdown of a PN junction diode happens. We know that you have studied that the breakdown occurs, right? That is when a PN junction diode is a reverse biased or when you increase the reverse biased voltage uh, you have seen in the reverse characteristics that the current slightly increases or very little current or you can say very meager small current flows through the pn junction diode when reverse voltage increases in the beginning but then when the reverse voltage is voltage increases a particular value above a particular value you have seen that the voltage sorry the current increases quite sharply right so there is the location where we say that the diode has undergone breakdown or this voltage where it where the current sh shoots sharply is known as the breakdown voltage i hope you understood all these things okay so now this breakdown, we are going to discuss that this breakdown can happen in two ways. And uh, when the breakdown happens in these two ways, it is uh, in one mechanism, we call it as center breakdown. And when the breakdown happens in another way, we call it as the avalanche breakdown. Okay. So we are, we will see how each of the breakdown occurs in a PN junction ion in this particular lecture. Now, end this. Now, we first will discuss Zener breakdown. Okay, consider a PN junction diode here. Okay, I have shown here a depletion region. You know now what depletion region is, right? So, this is a region devoid of mobile charge carriers, but there are positive and negative ions separated by a distance. And then, since it is reverse biasing, we know that the P type material is connected to the negative terminal of the voltage source and n type side is connected to the positive terminal of the voltage source okay now you see obviously at, at, across the depletion region a negative voltage is applied okay so you know that when a negative voltage is applied majority charge charge carriers will never cross the junction but while the minority charge carriers will cross the junction and a small current will flow along the junction across the junction that we know now in the case of a zener breakdown or when a material is uh, prepared for it to get a breakdown using the zener breakdown mechanism uh, the material is prepared with high doping which means that the p type and n type material is heavily doped in this case so we you hope you hope you can understand that when it is heavily doped what happens the depletion region is very thin i do you know why it is very thin the depletion region is very thin when you dock it very heavily yeah because in p type material the holes will be more in concentration if it is heavily docked right similarly n type material will have a high concentration of electrons so when a diffusion takes place across the p and junction what happens is the when positive holes move towards the n type side and the n type electrons move from the n type to p type side the it will get neutralized we say that ions will be formed but the, if the doping concentration is very high 
when it crosses the junction very easily the electron from the n type material will find out a uh, hole and you will get recombined and the holes from the p type material very easily will find out uh, or recombine with the electrons in the n side okay that is if it is heavily doped the concentration of the holes and the electrons will be very high and since it is very high across the junction within a very short distance both the charge carriers will get uh, will be or uh, or it, it will be recombined also the ion separation will be formed within a very small thin region i hope you understood that is uh, when the when the you know, doping is very high you know the concentration of holes and electrons will be very high and since it is concentration is very high across when the holes of the electrons travel a very short distance itself the recombination process will take place and so and hence the depletion region will be very very thin if it is heavily doped so when a material is prepared for to get it breakdown in senna breakdown mechanism the depletion it is heavily doped and the depletion region it will be very very thin now when you apply a strong electric field across the pn junction what happens the strong electric field will be experienced across the depletion region right now if the depletion region is very thin you have learned that how the voltage is related to the electric field you know that a voltage is related to the electric field um e you know that e is equal to electric field e is equal to v divided by d right so when the distance decreases what happens electric field will be more experience so, so when you apply a voltage the electric field since the depletion region thickness is very very small the voltage experience electric field experienced at the pn junction across the depletion region will be very high and the electric field when it is very high naturally the electrons will be more attracted to the electric field which means that there are we know that in P, uh, both the sides there are beautiful covalent bonds being formed by silicon and germanium atoms right so what happens is these electrons which is part of the covalent bonds will get break down with this in the, under the experience of this very high electric field so what happens the electrons will get liberated from the atoms and the electrons will get liberated and it will move around so such so when the then since the depletion region is very low electric field will be more experienced and electric since electric field is more the covalent bonds will break down and it will generate more number of electrons and uh, 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 electrons and uh, or the charge carriers more number of electrons and thus the more number of holes and then more amount of current will flow across the junction right so this is what is happening in a zener breakdown okay so from this you understood that avalanche breakdown may have a difference from this particular breakdown mechanism i hope you understood what zener breakdown is so in zener breakdown the material will be heavily doped so that the depletion region will be very thin and so when you apply a strong when you apply electric field when you apply vol negative voltage electric field will become very high and then the um, covalent bonds will break down very easily and then more amount of charge carriers will be generated in the p type and n type material okay and so the current will be so after a particular voltage that is the voltage at which the electric field will break down or the electric field will uh, show, uh, liberate all the covalent bonds and after that the current when you go on increasing the voltage voltage will never increase but the current will increase very sharply due to the increase of the surge of these charge carriers which is generated by the breaking of these covalent bonds and that is what is happening in a zener breakdown i hope you understood what zener breakdown is okay now we shall see what avalanche breakdown means so since obviously in the zener breakdown we said that it was heavily doped it means that in avalanche there is some peculiarity right so that is in avalanche when a material is planned to break down under the avalanche breakdown mechanism we can say that the material is not heavily doped okay so if it is not heavily doped what happens it is a normal bn junction material without much doping 
as a normal case. So what happens since the doping is very less, since the concentration of the p-type and n-type and the free charge carriers are very small, what happens? Uh, it will more it will get more diffused across the junction. The p-type uh, holes and, and electrons will diffuse more across the junction to get neutralized or to get uh, recombined. So naturally, the, the depletion region will be quite wide here. Okay, so that is shown in the figure. But then here, what happens is, so it is not the so since the depletion region is uh, um, almost wide, the when you apply voltage, the electric field experience we saw that E is equal to V by D, right? Since this V is uh, quite high, the electric field experienced across the junction will not be that much sufficient to for a Zener breakdown to happen. Okay, so when you apply negative voltage. Uh, we can say that the electric field will not get that much high, but then when you apply voltage, more and more voltage, the electrons will get accelerated, right? And electrons in the beta uh, holes also, but then electrons will be more uh, mobile, um, the, their mass is very less, the electrons will get easily accelerated. So what happens is accelerated electrons will bombard with the atoms. Right. So when it bombards with the atoms, what happens? It, it when it bombards with the atoms, it normally what it can happen is the atoms kinetic energy can increase, and this will eject electrons from the atoms. Okay. So this and this ejected electrons, what what can happen with this electron? Ejected electrons will obviously create holes also. Right. So electrons and holes will be generated more and more charge carriers, and this accelerated so. I said that when the electric field increases or when the voltage increase, negative voltage increases, the electrons will be accelerated more and these electrons will bombard with the covalent bonds. It will eject the electrons out of the atom and these, these ejected electrons will also get accelerated. It will again uh, cause another atom, other atoms to um, what uh, it will again bombard with other atoms and that will again generate more and more electrons and holes so that is how the process here take place so free electrons will get easily accelerated under this electric field under the voltage and that will uh, and that will again um, invoke more and more electrons and thus a surge of charge carriers will be produced and obviously this will produce more amount of current in a uh, pn junction diode and this is what is happening in an avalanche breakdown. So I hope you understood. In avalanche breakdown, the depletion region is quite wide. So the, when you apply a voltage, uh, electric field will not be that much sufficient to uh, electric field directly to break the covalent bonds. But, um, but the electrons will get more accelerated. That will help the atoms to eject electrons. And this will further create more and more charge carriers and thus a uh, large amount of charge carriers will be generated after a particular voltage and we can say that breakdown happens in avalanche system in either way in avalanche uh, we say so that there are two breakdown mechanisms either it is avalanche or either it is zener uh, the breakdown happens okay so then if the well, you can say that if the breakdown voltage is less than 6 volt it is predominantly um, uh, it is predominantly, we can say that it is a, a Senna breakdown because we said that a small electric field or when the electric field is voltage is less electric, since the D is small, a small voltage itself can, itself means the small voltage, which I mean is, it is a voltage above five. Okay. So that much negative, when you apply that much negative, uh, a smaller voltage itself, when you apply, the electric field can become very high and it can cause uh, covalent bond breakdown but then for an avalanche breakdown to happen uh, it, ha it has to experience more voltage than compared to the center breakdown so normally when you experience a breakdown voltage less than around 6 volt we can say it is a Zener breakdown and if it is above this um, uh, it is below this sorry sorry if it is above this 6 volt we can consider that it is almost avalanche breakdown okay so this is how from the breakdown value of voltage values you can uh, generally make out what type of a breakdown has happened but whatever be the case we generally call such a, uh, a diode as a, a zener diode okay, okay. now 
this is the characteristics which i uh, i hope you have already understood that this is the forward we said we we are we are actually experimenting only to the in the reverse bias side uh, so we were uh, we were uh, interested in seeing the reverse characteristics okay so in reverse characteristic what we see is that as we have already discussed when you increase voltage when you increase voltage to a particular value the voltage uh, that since the charge carriers minority charge carriers are responsible in the beginning right the minority charge carriers are responsible for the current flow through the uh, reverse biased pn junction right so that is very small current so very small current only flows through the along the uh, pn junction that is in the beginning but then when uh, particular voltage after a particular voltage we say that uh, by around or before a six a six volt or by six volt, six volt what happens a breakdown happens due to covalent bond breaking and if it is uh, happening so then the breakdown or the current can increase very sharply with a very small increase in voltage okay so that is voltage increase in, in voltage increases very small you can see but then from six to seven you can see the current has increased very sharply okay and if it is avalanche breakdown we can say you have now understood that it can even um, it is only above six voltage only you experience the breakdown so whatever be the case after a particular voltage okay the reverse current increases very sharply or a very small variation in the reverse voltage after that after six voltage for a very small increase in the voltage the current will increase sharply and this is that what is breakdown and these are the two mechanisms of breakdown avalanche breakdown and sino breakdown i hope you understood and in the next lecture we can discuss more about the sino diodes and its uh, features and how it is helpful in practical purposes okay thank you very much for your patient listening